pagkatapos ng 36 na laban na kung saan 35 dito ay panalo taong 1997 dumayo si Jerry Peñalosa sa Bansang Japan para harapin ang WBC Super Flyweight Champion na si Hiroshi Kawashima pagkatapos ng 12 round idineklara si Jerry Peñalosa na bagong WBC at Daniel Super Flyweight Champion by split decision Sinundan na ni Jerry Peñalosa ang yapak ng kanyang utol sa pagiging world champion na si Dodie Boy Peñalosa. Tulad ng maraming boksingero, pangarap na mapalaban sa bansang Amerika para lubos na makilala sa mundo ng boxing. At August 1997, ang unang naging tapak ni Peñalosa sa Amerika para harapin ang Mexican boxer na si Hipolito Saucedo. Si Saucedo ay dating NABF Super flyweight champion sa round 1, sinimula ni Peñalosa sa matutulis na job. Samantalang ang kalaban, parang nagugulat na lang sa bilis na pinapakita ni Peñalosa. Hitting 10 seconds in round number one, and we will pause for a word. It's a very slow-moving first round. Right now in the gold trunks, 25-year-old Jerry Penalosa, a hero in the Philippines. 37-1 and one. Effective jab, good defense, rock-solid chin, great heart. Not in the body, but too low, and he says, uh, "It just made me weak from that point on." Ooh. Romero took the fall. There's Salcedo. And that's what Salcedo wants to make this fight. He wants to make it tough on the inside. Penalosa. Final fight for world champ Jerry Penalosa comes in with a taking his time. His first trip to the U.S. So looking for airtime and hoping to come on later against Salcedo. But uh, Polo Salcedo very happy with the way the first couple of rounds have gone. He comes on. He says, "Is yeah, is that your best shot?" Remember what Salcedo said before gets turned on when he gets hit hasn't been turned those fighters from south texas in that area that takes them a few rounds to get going oh good combination inside a straight left penalosa says is his best punch and salcedo would probably agree with him after that shot pro fights for penalosa 36 of them have come in from kawashima in his hometown in tokyo kawashima hometown yes Oh, nice spin by Penalosa. That was uh, Kawashima's eighth title defense, or it would have been if he would have successfully defended it. He had defended it seven times going into that fight. Penalosa said, "I boxed him," and you can see some of the some of his boxing ability early in this fight. He was moving around, circling, kind of staying at bay. We saw say there was a good another straight left. Pinpoint accuracy from the punches of Jerry Penalosa. Round number four. first U.S. exposure. He wants to impress in this one. Head swinging left hook. That left hook knock, knocks him silly because he comes at them from a different angle, from behind them, from behind their back. Also with these southpaws, I found it easier to smother them, stay on the inside of them. You don't, you don't realize they're left-handed. And yes, easier said than done. Three of my five, five losses to uh, those who box from the southpaw stands. The ropes. Penalosa using it. That round. You know, they're trying to light a fire under him there, telling him between rounds, more pressure, more pressure, more pressure, more. Finally, happy he's getting hit a little bit more. <laughs> really content. What happens when Penalosa? Well, you kind of get the feeling if Penalosa got a little bit. He'd be cracking through because he is economizing with his punches. Yeah, it may be the airtime he wants, too. You know, he doesn't want to show everything here. He wants to lure Johnny Tapia into a fight. But he's so quick. He gets oh, in and gets out. Look at that. Very nice. Stairs by Penalosa. Yeah. So, so I was there saying, no. Nah. A lot of talent. 
He's been fighting pro for eight years, turned pro at 17. And by his third pro fight, he was already going eight rounds. Ninth fight, he won a 12-round IBF Intercontinental title. Won 20 in a row. That first loss was the disputed split decision to the Philippines national champion. KOs in his last 13 fights. And the WBC Junior Bantamweight champion. Well, his father was the Philippine welterweight champion. His father, Carlos Sr., a boxer. His brother first round you only get you know, less than three minutes air time <laughs> just getting warmed up you figure this was where Saucedo wanted to, to bring the fight but it's Penalosa now look at his compact work of hook here to the body of Saucedo oh, that jam right on the oh, rapid fire by Penalosa upstairs that is what you were looking at your opponent look at those openings right to the pit of the stomach right. after he went upstairs then he comes back downstairs and scores Oh, again. Fast as of Penalosa. And no misses from Penalosa. Right on the butt. Saucedo missing with his punches. And see how slow Saucedo is. Now he's apprehensive about throwing his shots. He's afraid he'll miss. And we will pause now for these words from your... Penalosa gets him in that corner. Watch how high his hands arise. And then watch how his body away from his opponent. He puts in, he gives his opponent, then he takes it away. So he moves in and moves out. You faint at your opponent. Move in and all of a sudden you're gone. Fast movement from him. Splattering shot by Saucedo. Oh, and Penalosa rips on Saucedo was in his shell. He had capitulated. In Penalosa. Oh, and the speed. Good combination from Penalosa. Upstairs, downstairs. Lacedo doesn't know where it's going to come from. Frustrated, too. See him slap his gloves together? Come on, let's fight, he says. Really getting turned on this round. But you gotta hit him in that body a few rounds to take some of that speed away and that movement away. He is too good when he hits that fast. You gotta bring him down to your level if you're Saucedo, your speed. Right now he's out speeding Hippolito. And there with some uh, head fakes, Penalosa. Closing seconds of round number seven. And the better Penalosa looks, certainly makes that. Possibility more and more attractive. More sellable. Oh, good debilitating. I tell you, Polo is tough. He comes into this fight with a lot of aggression, and that may be what's this round. Because he is frustrated. I can't if Alito Saucedo is thinking. And you're watching uh, Penalosa now, Sean, too, and you understand. He's still not, he's not even at 90, 100, 90, anywhere between 90 and 100 percent. I mean, his intensity level, he could even raise even right. higher. You know, that's what it is about, about great fighters. But you see, that's the difference in, in mediocrity and great fighters, second by second. The, the good fighters change round by round. The great fighters change second by second. And, oh, man. So say it was a little John Lawson says no, so Sano said, I should know. In a now get him up from Lawson. Fighters are able to turn and fight in that left hand stance. Against these southpaw fighters, they are as confused. at the pass every time. Rises when you get into that championship type of fight. We're talking about Penelos is going at a certain speed here, and you know what? And uh, uh, Johnny Tapia. So he has that's that's why he's so focused in this fight. You know, back in the, in the glory days of boxing, when they had one champion. Yeah, you know, back that back in the days of boxing, when there was only one champion, you had to make your own challenger. There he is. Penaloso landing, oh, that left, that straight left is so good from him. It is so quick, it comes right after the jab, punching in combinations. Jerry Penaloso, Pedro Saucillo doesn't know what to do. He is still befuddled. World championship fight level, where the juices are flowing even more than this tonight. 
Even though he was so excited about fighting for the first time in the U.S. and in front of a national audience, and there he picks it up. No, says Saucedo. Yes, says Penaloza, and again. A lot of anger and intensity into this fight with him. I suspect that took a lot out of him. A lot of these fighters are relaxed and calm, like Penalosa is. Anger, anger in what respect? He was, he was angry. He, uh, the right hook. Of Penalosa. And that was even anger. more anger. Yeah. <laughs> anger in that he was, he was trying to fire himself up, trying to get good and hot, especially for those early rounds. We talked about his slow start. And, and I just wonder how much that anger, you know, he's trying to change his style a bit. I wonder how much that took out of him. Big finish for Penalosa. There's the bell. They didn't hear it. Now just getting started. Hey, let's, yeah. let's fight a couple well more rounds. Well rounder. For the winner by unanimous decision, Jerry Penalosa. Pagkatapos ng laban sa Amerika, bumiyay naman si Jerry Penalosa sa bansang Korea para idepensa ang kanyang titulo kontra sa South Korean na si Yang Jucho na knockout ni Jerry Peñalosa ang Koreano sa 10th round ng kanilang laban. So yun lamang po ang gusto kong i-share sa inyo ngayong araw sa mga kaibigan at kababayan natin dyan sa Pinas, mga boxing fans at mga tulad kong OFW sa mampanig sa mundo. Kumusta po kayong lahat dyan? Kung nagustuhan nyo po itong aking video, pakilike at kung po pwede rin po, mag-subscribe na rin po kayo. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Shout out kay Mr. Josh Melendres, Bobby Jarmin, J. Poy Janka ng Lanao del Norte, Alfonso Cortado ng USA, Kalisha Albin, Renanti Boktot, Jose De Leon, Joel Ramirez ng Baguio City, Nathaniel Karaang, kay Jen Merjan Sumawan at kay Saptroy Gaming. Maraming maraming salamat po sa pagsuporta nyo sa aking channel. Mm -hmm.